Hello everyone, I'm Mary from Education Worldwide and you're watching Let's Talk About It, a monthly podcast in which we discuss various aspects of online education. Uh, here with me tonight is Anita. Anita, welcome. Thank uh, you. How are you? Good. <laughs> uh, it was a busy day, right? Very busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, well, in online school we actually don't have uh, an enrollment phases or so to say every we have day. enrollments every day I would so say every day is like an it's, enrollment it's phase. already like August <laughs> in our school right exactly oh that's great but uh, you know tonight we're talking about uh, something really special and it's not uh, unintentionally that I mentioned that the enrollments are always open in our school because the program that we're going to talk about now will look more like traditional schooling in terms of when it starts and it starts in September 2022 and it will be uh, a full-time uh, online elementary school and on this occasion we have invited one very very special guest and uh, I'm, uh, it's very spe really special for me because she's uh, the first guest that I have in this podcast uh, two years ago, <laughs> it is our tutor, Tammy. Tammy, welcome back. Thank you. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Oh, I'm excellent. <laughs> <laughs> are you happy for being here again? Yes, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Okay, that's great. Well, we last time... We finally got her back. <laughs> yeah, we finally got her back. And I really have to say, last time when, when she was here, she was like, uh, she's just uh, education worldwide tutor. In the meantime, she uh, progressed to the... Mm, with the title of the head of elementary school and now she's like the brain behind this program which we called prime program or full-time elementary <laughs> school and that is Blushing. what we're going to <laughs> talk about with Tammy but before I move on to the questions I really really want to read something to you it will explain who Tammy is and oh. how how students uh, feel about her. Is so. this what Isra want to show us? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't want her to see that, so I was like, oh, <laughs> panicked in one moment that she's going to see. So, listen very carefully. <laughs> Dear Tammy, I wanted to let you know I love the third grade at this school. I have so much fun in the third grade. My favorite thing, uh, my favorite th thing, however, is about working on arts and crafts. I can't wait to be in grade four so I can learn Spanish. And I can't wait to meet you and other teachers. And my favorite thing is language arts, but there are a lot of homework, homework but that's okay. Your student, Sasha. <laughs> and that's Hi, just, Sasha. Oh, that's just one of, the, one of the letters she gets. And may I add that this letter is not like letter written to Tammy. It's, it's supposed to be, uh, if I, it, it was supposed to be a homework yeah. and they should write to their friend. And yeah. Sasha chose you. <laughs> yeah, she chose me. <laughs> so it really speaks volumes about how, how your students feel about you. And I think it's really, it's really, really great. Yeah, so. I mean, I love it. And mm -hmm. I'm very fond of them as well. So it's really a pleasure to have students like Sasha and mm -hmm. all my uh, students as well. So um, I, I, I love this experience mm -hmm. and uh, I love being their tutor. And Working with them really uh, makes my day every day. I love how spontaneous they are, mm -hmm. how naive. Uh, I love their naive questions <laughs> every day and even answers. We laugh a lot. You know, when I'm feeling blue, when I ha don't have a, um, I'm, when I'm not in the mood, I just talk to them and they make my day. Everything is okay. Uh, you know, they just show up and they're like, teacher, you look awful today. And I'm like, <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> they're so, really yeah. honest. <laughs> they are very honest and I love that. They really speak their minds always. So oh, that's great. It's, yeah. Uh, okay. Before we move to questions, I also wanted to remind everybody that uh, everyone who's watching us, you can say hi in the comment section. If you have any questions, feel free to ask anything. We will answer. And and if you don't have to ask us anything, just write where are you coming from and where are you watching us from. We would love to, to see uh, until which parts of the world we are reaching through <laughs> with this podcast. So, uh, okay, Tam, you partially answered my first question, which was what is your, what, what is your experience with, uh, with working with elementary school students, but you basically answered it, but do you want to add something? <laughs> well, there's nothing to add. Mm -hmm. It's like a dream come true mm -hmm. to have students like them and um, uh, really enjoying this experience. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that they do as well, which, you know, is a kind of uh, encouraging and mm -hmm. mo mm, kind of a motive. I mean, 
it is a motivation for me to wake up every day and go to work and do my job, do what I love. Excellent. Uh, okay, uh, you have been working with elementary school students, uh, grades one to, to five for quite some time at Education Worldwide. And for uh, many of parents and students, and students, this online education, online learning, online schooling, call it whatever you want, uh, is something new. Even we as a school, uh, we adapted through all these years and we upgraded our service in the way we teach students and and stuff like that so what is your experience what are your impressions about um, what can you tell us basically about students habits in these early ages well there <laughs> com- <laughs> I, I want to be honest here mm-hmm. at first we have a rough start so there aren't any study habits mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's been a challenge to uh, keep my students motivated mm-hmm. and uh, mm, even even uh, make them do their homeworks, uh, participate in all activities uh, that we do on a daily basis to uh, even get uh, to class on time. Mm-hmm. It was very difficult at the beginning, but as time passes, um, everything gets back to normal and um, starts to run smoothly as it's supposed to. Mm-hmm. So not only me, but also my colleagues, we all put a um, lot of effort into making them uh, want and realize that school is important eh, and that they have to, you know, they have some obligations to do mm-hmm. on a daily basis. So um, I think that we're really doing a good job here. And uh, yeah, that's, you know, they are very young. I want mm-hmm. to, you know, mention that. It's obvious and it's difficult to make a six-year-old do their homework right after class. And even if I say, um, this is your homework, make sure it's done by tomorrow. And they, they really do it because they, I, I'm sure that they don't want to disappoint me. And they just come there and they're like, you didn't ask me about my homework. Can I show it? <laughs> so... Yeah, well, you're I'm one kind of the of rare of teachers yeah? and we are obviously one of the rare schools when, when, where students are like, I brought my homework, can I show <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, that happened once when I think Temi was sick and I took mm-hmm. over one of her group classes mm-hmm. and I kind of gave him homework for the sake of it. And then the next week they said, we, oh, did, we, it. we did it, we did it. And I thought, oh, I forgot about this homework. <laughs> <laughs> She's trained them well. <laughs> oh, that's, Yay. That's really great. Well, I'm pretty sure parents are satisfied with that, <laughs> with that kind of discipline that you managed to, to achieve with children. Uh, speaking of online classes, uh, we started with individual and move on to the group classes as well. And uh, these online live online classes are something that pretty much put education worldwide in front many other online schools. And on one occasion, even you told me that some of your parents can't really believe that we are actually offering live online classes because what they do in majority or in some other online schools, they're just playing pre-recorded videos. How, in your opinion, how much these classes, this live interaction is important, especially with students with such a yeah. uh, Well, I want to mention first that I also uh, sometimes work as a consultant here, mm-hmm. and then I I get a chance to talk to parents from all mm-hmm. around the world that have already uh, had some meetings with other schools. So I don't want to degrade any mm-hmm. other schools here, but uh, I, I want to admit that when I say that we have classes, online classes, mm-hmm. so not only group, but also individual, where there's a tutor or teacher that explains the lesson material to them and the possibility of uh, our students um, having, like being able to ask a question if they have a doubt and have that question explained immediately Mm -hmm. is a huge advantage of our school. And they're like, what do you mean live classes, live sessions? So you play a video for us, already um, pre-recorded video, and that's it? And when I explain that that's not a case, they are very, I think that it instantly, uh, you know, gets them uh, to enroll with education worldwide. So um, yes, it is very important to have a tutor in front of you explaining everything, Uh, whatever doubt you have, uh, whatever question you have, if you, 
if you find something difficult, if you, uh, a- anything, mm-hmm. we're there to explain it right away, to organize their day, to help them do their homework. Even if they don't understand something, our platform is so interactive. It has a lot of videos, games that they play right after learning something. So it gives them the possibility, it gives them the, um, yeah, the possibility to practice already. I mean, just what have they have just studied, Mm -hmm. learned to like practice it and memorize it better. Yeah, because it's fun and interactive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't really feel like, it feels like playing. Exactly, exactly. So learning. (laughs) That's right. Okay. Uh, Anita, can you tell us what are your uh, impressions and experience you've been dealing with parents (laughs) (laughs) as our head tutor, uh, head tutor, sorry, head (laughs) consultant (laughs) every day, (laughs) 24-7 almost, uh, and your track record (laughs) with enrolled students. Yeah. (laughs) Like like Tammy said, they always ask Mm -hmm. about like, what do the live classes mean? And basically that interaction, it means a lot to them. Mm -hmm. They've got that instant, they've got a personal like response and it's not like, okay, I'm just going to type something into like um, Google or something and then get my answer. When they have their online classes and so many times I've gone downstairs and I've like, so many times I've I've seen Tammy like take random things and explain and, (laughs) You know, you see, like, the children, mm. well, students, well, children, because <laughs> they're elementary school, they have fun and they actually understand because mm. it, it's different when you're reading something and then when someone is explaining it to you. And if they don't get it the first, like, in, in one way of explaining mm-hmm. explaining it, now I can't speak, <laughs> um, then, you know, they try a different method. So it, it's a really important factor that they have that online mm-hmm live interaction and live classes so yeah that's something where we are going in in the future as well and uh, the reason that i mentioned this is because actually mm, full-time online school that we are talking about will bring more online classes so tammy what can you tell us about the prime program (laughs) okay so i want to say that this program was made uh, exclusively exclusively <laughs> on my personal experience based on my mm-hmm. personal experience with elementary uh, school students and uh, so it's been a year two years almost since um, I'm, I've started working with them and I kind of collected collected data mm-hmm. throughout this my, my journey here and not only my experience but also from other tutors mm-hmm. So I took whatever thing that could be improved Mm -hmm. and tried to put it into this program. And I wanted our students to gain the experience of a regular school in the comfort of their own rooms. And um, that's why we try to, uh, well, put it, um, (laughs) <laughs> okay, Feel so what I'll, yeah. <laughs> Don't I'll be shy. It. No, no, no. Well, they will have a lot of classes mm-hmm. a day on a daily basis. So let's say, um, so depending on the grade, but they will have uh, four to six classes a day. Mm-hmm. And uh, it is, I don't think it's a lot. Mm-hmm. It will be just enough for them to uh, do their daily activities. Uh, unlike our regular program where they are, which is flexible Mm -hmm. and allows them to work on lessons whenever they are uh, willing to do a lesson, this time they will have to wake up and start in a certain time and yes start the yes school. and yeah. start it's like a strict schedule it's a strict schedule. schedule but we did had some some questions if i if i'm not getting this wrong we did had some questions from parents who actually asked about this more strict schedule because their children are used to it and also yeah. more classes i mean even when we implemented the group classes mm-hmm. and now we've been to implemented more group classes so we have like the different times mm-hmm. for some people it's still not enough and they want like a all day thing. Well, not an all day thing, but like every day to have for all the subjects. 
and so many times during consultations and I'm sure you've had the same question as well where they ask okay but can we have more classes so that they can have like three or four a day and that's I and guess. that's where, 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 <laughs> that's where, where we got the for the for the prime program and Tammy uh, organized everything perfectly. And uh, you already mentioned that they're going to have uh, five, between four and, and six classes per day. Uh, I know that you have put a lot of effort, uh, effort into creating a specific timetable uh, with uh, certain subjects at the beginning and some other subjects at the at the end of the day. Can you give us uh, more details on that? Of <laughs> course. So I try. I crafted a couple of different schedules mm -hmm. and uh, this was the one that I liked the most because mm -hmm. I put uh, more difficult subjects in the mornings. Mm -hmm. We want them focused in class and we want them uh, to obviously pay attention and uh, learn. And language arts and math mm -hmm. are the most, well, they love them, both subjects, but they are the most difficult ones. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, want, I, I really uh, thought this through and thought it would be the best option. And right after language arts and math, we put social studies and science mm -hmm. as a reward for doing a good job in math <laughs> and language arts because science especially is... Fun. Fun. And it's their favorite <laughs> subjects. Whenever I ask them, what's your favorite subject? They say, oh, science. Yeah, a lot so, of students are like, we love science. <laughs> yes, yes. It's surprising. Yes. So that's why uh, I decided to put it in the middle, as uh, as I have already said, a reward mm -hmm. for... Uh, Getting through that <laughs> hard morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, and after social studies and, and science, they will have... Uh, elective subjects mm -hmm. they will work on uh, physical education health even languages mm -hmm. and arts and crafts also uh, one of the favorites yes I suppose. one of the favorites <laughs> as well they really enjoy doing it and uh, whenever they show up to a class mm -hmm. they first thing they do is show me what they made oh, excellent so, yeah. and i really have to jump in it's like a commercial <laughs> <laughs> but really um our students have a lot of uh, interesting assignments where they create things and record videos about it and we share those videos on our social media channels so if you don't follow our facebook and instagram account please do because there you can see students explaining a lot of things how they did some project or something it's really cute and it's really fun and you can see how much fun they have honestly for me it's much better than than uh, some kind of um, uh, uh, how can I say um, statement from them that you can read on our website although you have reviews as well so you can check <laughs> reviews on our website too uh, you can find the links to, to our social media channels in the description um, of this video on our YouTube channel and since you're already on the YouTube channel like, share, subscribe, <laughs> and you know the drill for, for the rest. Um, but Tammy, sorry, <laughs> I it's have fine. to jump in. I promised our social media team Please that I'm going us. to <laughs> yeah, that I'm going to do this because uh, we're really sharing a lot of things that students do, of course, with their permission that they do in the school, and it it really shows uh, how the classes are organized and how the learning and education worldwide uh, really, uh, really happens. I have to jump in of course. with something. So uh, mm -hmm. very frequently it happens that they come, they show me something mm -hmm. and ask, will you post this to Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants to be famous on Instagram. So we are helping them as well. Of That's course. That's really cool. Uh, you know, one uh, another thing that I noticed, it's super cute for me when I see, you know, other parents jump in and, you know, like, hey, bravo, good job and something like that and then you have a whole family like oh, all that yeah. student joins in <laughs> in the conversation it's super cute it's like having you know like I don't know in traditional schools it will be like the hallway and in mm -hmm. the hallway you would have this board where you would get the Mm, photos not photos but you know drawings of students or some of their works it's it's something like that but it's in the, in the digital form <laughs> oh we have Hiram oh, <laughs> hi Hiram. hello Hiram uh, we were expecting you <laughs> actually we were expecting you a lot earlier <laughs> <laughs> okay so I'm going to read uh, hello the three of you if you could talk about the physical education course that would be great I'm curious best 
uh, Hiram and Tribu. I think that we uh, read this before as tribe, but it's Tribu. And I think that he explained to one of you, or it was Doris, Maybe who Doris. got the explanation. Maybe Doris. <laughs> that, that we, um, okay, so uh, yeah, but before Tammy explains physical education, I suppose that he wants to know how physical education is done in online. I also wanted to say that uh, with Prime program, students will have classes for core and elective subjects. So everything is included. That's one of the main differences uh, comparing to our classic school program, classic online school program, mm -hmm. which gives you online classes only for Core, core subjects. subjects. <laughs> I'm sorry. He There's a lot. <laughs> my apologies for for delay. <laughs> so, Better okay. late than never, here. <laughs> Absolutely. Better late than never. So, Tammy, you have the honor. <laughs> Physical education. Physical yeah. education. Um, I have to admit that um, it is difficult when uh, you have students seated in front of the computers uh, during the whole day. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want it to, I didn't want them to just do that. But I thought maybe what can we do? So they move and do something. So have some activities uh, to, I, then I thought about dancing mm -hmm. and uh, doing some exercises. And then I just remember we, we, we have physical education on our platform Absolutely. and it is a very interesting subject. They, they, they really like it. Uh, so there are different worksheets. They talk about, uh, um, well, mm, habits and how important that is to go and uh, do train, have, run at least. So mm -hmm. tr do any physical activity that... Uh, you can, depending mm -hmm. on where you live. So if you're in an apartment, uh, you can just stretch out, uh, do some push-ups. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, they will even have some, uh, as a part of the homework, mm -hmm. to, for example, go out, mm -hmm. run, record their time. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, it's very interesting. So and they can show it later to, to, to the computer. Of course, <laughs> of course. So all the data... Uh, mm -hmm you know, when recorded will be presented to the teacher. So it they, they really like it. Mm -hmm. Well, I like the idea that we wanted to, uh, and it's not the case only in, in, in online school, it will be the case in, in, in traditional schools as well, because kids sit a lot and they don't really move around a lot. So this physical education is, is really um, something that is important. We are, I'm also going to jump in, I think, uh, jump in with the information that we, uh, we will see how it will work, but it will probably be a tutor who will maybe do some exercises live with them, but it's really, we are trying to figure it out how to do it and how to organize it because he will need like a, a, a place to do it. He cannot do it in, in, in a regular office, so. But it will be fun. So, yeah, but we do have program, as Tammy said, and uh, it's obviously really interested. <laughs> interesting, is, even e e even now. Um, let's move. Let's move further. Um, yeah, we were talking about this um, classes for core subjects and for um, elective subjects as well. Uh, does that mean that elective subjects? I know that we offer a list of them, but that, does that mean that elective subjects will be? mandatory in terms they would have to go to these classes yes okay uh yes <laughs> <laughs> uh the first and mm -hmm. second graders mm -hmm. will have uh health uh physical education mm -hmm. uh music and we'll see probably arts music and, and arts, arts and crafts yeah. yes arts and crafts and um uh, our grade three and grade four students will get to choose mm -hmm. between uh, Spanish, mm -hmm. French, and German. So they start to learning languages. Yes, other languages yes, yes. Well. So that is the only uh, mm -hmm. thing where they will, you know, get to choose. Mm -hmm. um, and they are all mandatory mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. time. Okay, that, but that's great. I mean, this is prime program. You get more more learning material and more classes. So I think that's that's completely 
that's completely okay. Yet it, they're not overburdened because the program is totally adjusted to, to, to the grade and, and age they are, uh, they are in. Uh, can you tell us one more thing? Like, um, how frequent will they have these classes? I think that the core subjects are every day, right? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, no, actually. No. So, <laughs> okay. uh, language arts and math mm -hmm. uh, will be taught um, every day. While social studies and science uh, will be taught twice a week. Mm -hmm. And uh, arts and crafts only once, because we we really uh, it requires uh, our students to have uh, some tools uh, and to you know get ready for the class. So we didn't want to. Uh, we thought about our parents, mm -hmm. so <laughs> we didn't want to uh, you know make them go and buy things and you know have them ready every day. So only once a week will be enough, and they really need some time. To, to, prepare. to prepare and mm -hmm. do the, to finalize the product or mm -hmm. the homework that they have to do. So, uh, and language, uh, I'm sorry, languages uh, also once or twice mm -hmm. a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great, but it's really diverse uh, timetable, so to speak. Uh, they will have fun. I don't think the classes will be boring, you know, even though you will have strict schedule and it will be like oh, I can't do it anymore <laughs> every day is, will be different so. I'm sure it will be <laughs> um, lots of uh, fun mm -hmm. in classes especially because our te our teachers are amazing mm -hmm. and uh, uh, very professional so uh, yeah well they will they will not only have fun but they mm -hmm. will really learn a lot because as I have already mentioned there will be a tutor mm -hmm. uh, that will uh, teach them a lesson, they will play a lot of games, they will watch videos, listen to music. Even mm -hmm. I, when, I, when I'm doing something, for example, language arts, I always try to find uh, our platform is an endless source of, of uh, yeah. information mm -hmm. and videos and uh, uh, games as well. So I always try to find something that they will like and that will make them learn and really mm -hmm. memorize uh, you know what what they learned about so i i'm i'm sure mm -hmm. that they will enjoy this school yeah i i'm, I'm sure about this it this program <laughs> uh while we're still still on the topic of classes how long will the classes last and will it be like uh, every class a new session because we're working through zoom uh or how did you imagine that part uh there will be only one Zoom link a day. Mm -hmm. So they will log in in the morning mm -hmm. and only and when they it. finish <laughs> their homework mm -hmm. uh, will they be able to leave the class. So uh, one more uh, uh, thing is uh, to mention that we really, or I really thought about our parents mm -hmm. and I wanted them to go to a market without, to the market without, uh, uh, any worries or without, you know, pressure? Did they have to come back and log into another class? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, really, they will have breaks in between. Yeah, in between the classes, uh, ten to fifteen minute breaks. Mm -hmm. We don't want mm -hmm. to give them a lot of time to, so they wouldn't lose focus. Mm -hmm. But uh, they will have breaks so, and they will work. Uh, Mm -hmm. throughout like the whole session will last for five to six hours mm -hmm. and uh, so no logging be... out no logging in again no you no log no, in no, for no the first time yeah. and that's it you press pause i believe when you go to the break and oh, of course i mean they can leave oh, at that, any that, moment that's really convenient actually uh, as you mentioned for parents because they can dedicate themselves to other other commitments if they work from home or if they want to go as you mentioned <laughs> to the course. market they don't really have to worry because the kid is already in the session we have neus gari says hi hello hello <laughs> have any question hello, for us? Man. Uh, we would love to hear it uh and uh i wanted to ask anita something but the question <laughs> <laughs> no, I remembered. No, really. Who can who can enroll in this uh, prime program? Can we enroll uh, students who are already with the education worldwide? Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. I think mainly as well students who are completing their. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if they're not, they can transition to that one mm -hmm. as well. But we've had cases where, like I mentioned earlier, 
let me just get comfortable, (laughs) (laughs) Um, where they ask if we have more classes because Mm -hmm. they just want that whole day dedicated to schooling and not just, not so much to put that pressure on the children, but just to keep them into that like routine. So when Mm -hmm. they wake up, it's like getting ready for Mm -hmm. physical school. They get up, they get ready, they go to school, they come home at whatever time and then they're free. We've had a lot of questions as well because with elementary school, I mean, they're all young students and I think Tammy will touch base on this more, is basically it's very hard to get like a second grader or something to work outside the platform, outside Mm -hmm. the class by themselves. This way, it's it's more so for the students who need that... um, basically having a teacher with them the whole time Mm -hmm. and helping them explaining it so i don't know if tammy you want to what we we are basically um helping them organize Mm -hmm. their days they are very young and they find Mm -hmm. it difficult to organize themselves Mm -hmm. and to do everything on time to keep up with all assignments that they have to do and uh that's what we did for them uh, well, th- uh, that's great. And you mentioned homework, and I, that's something that I wanted to ask uh, additionally. But since we are here, I can I can just proceed. Uh, besides these online classes that will last like f- uh, four to to six hours, depending on, on which grade students are, we also have additional or extra two hours added to that time where they're doing homework. Can you explain that? And yes. h- why did you come up with something like that? <laughs> For the same reason that mm-hmm. we have just mentioned. Mm-hmm. Uh, when the session ends, mm-hmm. first thing they do is run away from the computer <laughs> and play with their family members. And uh, who would have thought? <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> so um, I thought it was the best idea so far to have them uh, for additional hour or two until they finish their homework Mm -hmm. and uh, I really thought that it would be best to also send them uh, books Mm -hmm. or workbooks to uh, their home addresses Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so they really have them ready right next to their uh, computers when the lessons are done when we finish everything Mm -hmm. uh, they can just open their book and do the homework Everything will be ready. We will be there to help them, but mm-hmm. not do their homework for them. And I'm sure that parents will agree with this. Mm-hmm. They really have to spend time with their uh, children, helping them do their, the, uh, their homework. Sometimes it even happens that they have to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they have you know, to be there for them. Of In course, this case, it th- will be the tutor who will be uh, online. And if yes, the student we, will not, <laughs> we will not just uh, help them do their mm-hmm. homework. Uh, or doing it for them, but Mm -hmm. we will guide them through it. Mm -hmm. And if they didn't understand something, we will explain it right away and make them learn, make them them remember it. And uh, under our supervision, uh, everything will run smoothly. I'm I'm, I'm really positive about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will will just uh, be there for two hours, doing everything so well, that's that's well, fantastic. yeah <laughs> uh, i don't want to repeat <laughs> oh the books idea is awesome we think that too now says the books idea is awesome <laughs> and yeah students will get the books in the prime program students will get books uh students who are who enroll will get books on their home addresses uh I, I'm not sure if we have defined this yet with our partners. Do we have books for all subjects or is it just some maybe core subjects? I think that maybe only core, subje- core subjects. Core subjects. Core subjects, yes, right. yes, yes. Okay, but th- that, that's really great. But and that is the homework that will be mm-hmm. done after the classes. Mm-hmm. Uh, because if they're doing physical education homework, we cannot be there while they are of running. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> now I was having in mind some other subjects, <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's okay. Too. Um, okay. Um, uh, Anita, uh, how many <laughs> students per class will be? We will have like limited number of students per class for this yes. prime program, right? Just because we mm-hmm. have an enrollment intake period mm-hmm. this time, um, with our regular programs, it's open all mm-hmm. year round. But we do have like an end date for them to mm-hmm. 
enroll by um, just so that we can have everything prepared and like Tammy said we have those physical books that are being sent so Mm -hmm. we need to organize that being sent out Um, yeah so I think what were we saying about a maximum of 10 10 to 12 10 to 12 yeah just because we have to round them all up Mm -hmm. um, allocate them in the different like figure Mm -hmm. out their schedules Mm -hmm. and all of that and also in when you even with our regular uh classes when you see that a class is say 45 minutes Mm -hmm. for example and there are more than say 12 or 15 students it's hard for everyone to get that attention exactly and to to voice their opinion so that's why we've kind of groups yeah limited it to Mm -hmm. smaller Mm -hmm. groups just so that they can and also with the students at our school they've created those like friendship groups and all of that so (laughs) yeah it's it's a lot easier for them to communicate with them um especially at a young age Mm -hmm. rather than okay now i have this stress of 30 other students in my class i don't know who's who and we we look at that as well that's a a very important thing Mm -hmm, for mm -hmm, us mm -hmm. yeah uh okay we have a question now asks sorry but i've missed the part will this be all classes in a row they will have like so yeah basically yes 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 uh, yes, yes. so there will have uh four to six classes in a row a 45 minute classes mm -hmm. with um, 10 minute breaks in between so it will be a full-time online program well, and, uh, I hope you're satisfied <laughs> with the answer. Uh, uh, <laughs> it says, sorry, a lunch break. <laughs> oh, bon appetit. <laughs> um, okay, well, th- 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 that's that's really awesome. Well, the way I see it, Tammy, what would you prefer? Full-time online school or mo- more flexible? Uh, Imagine that you're a student. <laughs> if I... Mm, <laughs> that's a nice question. Well, I would definitely choose... Uh, uh, the prime program mm-hmm. because I find it difficult to organize my day so I, I'd like somebody to Help. do it for me <laughs> of course and guide me through the process of education um, so I would definitely choose mm-hmm. the prime program and not only because of organization uh, but also because I really think that uh, I would gain that experience as as i said uh mm-hmm. of a regular school um but just from my own uh living room or <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yes and it's a lot easier when you want to have a break mm-hmm. you're in your house and you go and eat something, you know, have a snack, maybe watch some TV. From th- there are a lot of cartoons that last for 10 minutes. So, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> of course. So, uh, and even the possibility of talking to my friends from all around the world uh, during the breaks, uh, getting to know them. Uh, and mm-hmm. I, and they I can have like a little recess break together, well, like yeah. a lunch break. <laughs> yeah, online. because we already <laughs> spoke about how our students like to 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 hang around on online after yeah. the yeah, classes. Yes, <laughs> they always stay after the class and play yeah. and talk, uh, practice their English skills. And really, yes, awesome. so it's amazing. <laughs> uh, we have another question. It's I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but I think it's Shireen. Dovi. Uh, she says, hi, we live in Panama, so we are seven hours behind. How would you, uh, how would that work? So each one of you, will, will we be able to enroll a student from Panama uh, in this prime program? Or would well, we recommend? Well, the schedule that we mm-hmm. have right now is mm-hmm. based on our time zone. So Central European yes, time zone. But that is going to be for the majority. Of mm-hmm. course, we do have a lot of students from South America, from the Asia Pacific, mm-hmm. from different time zones, and we're not going to exclude them from this. Oh, obviously. <laughs> so, of course, we would adjust it so mm-hmm. that they would have a prime program. Mm-hmm. I mean, they wouldn't be expected to wake up at three in the morning mm-hmm. while there's an, a group class with us, uh, mm-hmm. in our time zone, but we would, again, have to gather... Sorry have together how many students are coming from those Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, time zones and group them accordingly so that we can offer them that full time having the 
not back to back classes well yeah back to back classes with a little <laughs> break um but having all the classes mm-hmm every day each week mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. yes okay, <laughs> we, so we would adjust it basically yeah. in this moment uh, it's imagined for the central european time zone but as anita said uh, if there are a lot of interests from other countries obviously we are going to form additional groups and create uh, time slots for for uh, these classes as well but we can stay in touch so mm-hmm. we can inform you timely uh, how how the things are going so we have another <laughs> question. I love when this happens in, our, <laughs> in the comment section. Uh, Jacob Fritz says, are you planning to change the program? We are so happy with the program right now. Don't change it, please. No. I love my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Jacob is in, I think, middle or high school. So okay. we, uh, the prime program right now is just for elementary, for elementary. school. Yeah. Don't for worry. <laughs> Middle and high school are <laughs> safe for now. But we're not changing program in terms uh, we we are not uh, we're not excluding yeah. the, the current schools. So yeah. everything stays the same. This is just additional, additional program. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we're not taking away <laughs> no we're not taking away anything so if this flexible school this flexible program which our students love so much still stays we wanted to try out something new because as we have uh, talked about uh, tonight about it so many parents uh, would love uh, to have a full time online school because of their commitments they can they can be focused on their kids so much they need it and uh, yet online they love online learning and everything that online learning bring, brings with it. So that's it. So, okay, so many questions. <laughs> so get ready. Uh, now says, I have four kids of different ages. Will it be possible to have some of them in the full program? And for example, the youngest one uh, in a part one, how will fees be? Are they going to change? Yes, we are going to talk about fees. Uh, Anita, that's your that's your part. That's my <laughs> time to shine. <laughs> time to shine. Um, I mean, if you have say two in the prime mm-hmm. program and then the others in the regular program, I mean, it would just be adjusted mm-hmm. accordingly to that. We wouldn't expect you to pay the prime fee for all four. Mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm. even if one was to be, we didn't say how much is the fee for the prime program. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, so no. say for example we have um, one a child in the prime program and then one in the regular program mm-hmm. because they're either in uh, middle or high school or mm-hmm. they just don't need the prime program um, of course the one how the fees would go like regular mm-hmm. um, we would have the so okay let me where's the calculator <laughs> she, give us the calculator <laughs> we need both here <laughs> yeah we need our math tutor here this is why i didn't do the teaching no, uh, I just do the let me help you so the 5500 5, that's, the, the, that's the, fee. the fee for the prime program yes. it's a m- bit more expensive than our classic programs our classic packages and in case you're enrolling uh, other kids as well you're getting a sibling discount mm-hmm. uh for the kids that are enrolled in our uh classic program and the sibling discounts are 30 percent for the newly newly enrolled students newly enrolled families um and yeah that's it 30 percent discount uh, on the yeah. if you enroll oh sorry but you have four kids actually so you're getting 30 percent for the second child 40 percent for the third but they're an existing family <laughs> But I think this goes the same. <laughs> this is why I didn't do math. <laughs> <laughs> we will have to check this, but you're yeah. getting a sibling discount, so don't regardless, worry. Regardless, <laughs> regardless that we do, do yeah, the discounts. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. All in all, <laughs> prime package pricing is 5500 mm-hmm. Again, we do offer the different payment plans. So we, mm-hmm. we do offer the further discounts for upfront payment, but we also do have the monthly installments, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the flexible month to month payments. So it's not expected of you to pay the full if you are if you don't want to. Mm-hmm. And we do offer those other payment mm-hmm, options. Mm-hmm. And of course with more children we do offer discounts. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I need a pen and paper so I can send you. <laughs> I can formulate an email. <laughs> yeah, it's really it's really difficult with these with these discounts and so many discounts that we are offering. So we we don't want to do the math wrong because we we're don't live. Wanna, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> we need Bo or Matthew through here, uh, but we can we can help you. Uh, if you're already our student, I'm sorry, but we don't know. We have like so many students and families. If you're already our student, just write to your consultant and ask them to do the math for you. If not, write us an email uh, to admissions at tduww uh, dot net. <laughs> I wanted to say yeah. .com <laughs> or uh, just leave us an email and, and we will send you the full full details with, with, with everything. And if you're already with us, then just mm -hmm. email your consultant. And so. they will do it for me. What if it turns out that you're Nels their consultant? My, Nels is my family. <laughs> and I'm the tutor. Hi. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Joking, of course. Okay. This is like a family gathering. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it always a family gathering. So we have oh we have more. So uh, Sharin says okay thank you we really like what you're doing so uh, that would be wonderful if you can organize classes for EST time zone as well. Um, I totally agree and we are really trying as Anita said we have students or Tammy I don't really know who said it uh, from Both. from all parts of the world from different time zones and real we're really trying to adjust just everything and to um, to work with with everyone in in group classes and in individual classes uh, Jacob says yes I'm in middle school I'm so happy I live in Mexico Playa del Carmen so hello <laughs> uh, he's also mine really yes <laughs> and I suppose Tammy's no, no you work with sorry you work with elementary but I was saying because <laughs> you work usually with people who are coming from uh, from Spain and, and South America so th yeah. this is your region <laughs> <laughs> that's really great uh, people thank you for these questions if you have more questions feel free to ask them uh, we love to include you in the conversation hopefully or maybe someday we can include you live with with voices videos and, <laughs> and everything um, okay Actually, so that's a good idea we could do that <laughs> so, so you don't have to be here <laughs> yeah <laughs> well i'll still be here but others can be <laughs> i was joking <laughs> i was joking sorry <laughs> Uh, well, okay, we did talk about everything. You, we mentioned uh, mm -hmm. the tuition fee. We mentioned uh, oh, we didn't we, we didn't really say what the package. Uh, oh, we call it the package three. So people who are enrolled with education worldwide know that we have tuition fee packages one and two, and this will basically be the package three uh, for the for the prime school for, for the prime program. Um, Anita, will you do the honors? What the package three will include? Or Are you asking me to do more math? <laughs> <laughs> because no. that was a okay. So before. I'll do it. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Basic. I'm joking. Basically, package mm. three is uh, for elementary only mm -hmm. at present. <clears throat> uh, everything from the full time online classes, so from morning to afternoon, mm -hmm. um, they have a teacher with them literally for every single class mm -hmm. it's all live so basically it's like our other packages so they have the group classes all day um that's i guess what that price difference is mm -hmm. because it's not a, a selected amount of group classes per week it's mm -hmm. literally every single every day, single day. Mm -hmm. every single week from the start of the program mm -hmm. to when they finish mm -hmm. and i have to ask tammy uh because when we started this program and we first informed parents of who are already enrolled families that are already enrolled and i was speaking with one uh i was actually in correspondence with one lovely family and i'm like giving my heart and selling <laughs> selling this program and everything and she's like okay okay, okay. will tammy be the teacher and i was like oh. well tammy did come up with everything but i'm not sure that she will be the teacher in this oh the deal is off. <laughs> it was it, it wasn't literally like that but you know <laughs> so i think you have to jump in from time to time just so to show tammy, your face <laughs> tammy will be like probably like uh how can you say that like special guest in the program you know so from time to time we have to include you because students love you i'd so love much. to do it and i love them mm -hmm. actually maybe we could do something like when they're uh for physical education all mm -hmm. those extracurriculars like special guest tammy has to come mm -hmm. in and, and do push-ups <laughs> well i was gonna say like jumping jacks in front <laughs> of the i was screen. gonna say show, like be there so they can present their artwork <laughs> but you mm -hmm. can do jumping jacks and push-ups <laughs> 
uh, okay we have a party in the comments it would section. be a pleasure <laughs> uh, okay so Jacob says I highly recommend the school uh, the program the teachers are very friendly and classmate too thank you very much everything is perfectly organized thank you Jacob thank we really you, appreciate Jacob. and we really like having you as our student as well uh, we have James Richards asks hi I'm James from South Africa and I was wondering how often people in your grade 12 program can keep 99% average and get scholarships he also have some other questions uh, oh let me continue <laughs> and at the end of the year do you help with any uni application uh, and shout out to Alexandra my advisor she is amazing uh, shout out to Alexandra as well Hello. Uh, maybe maybe <laughs> we're trying to get Alexandra on this podcast for so long but as you know she's in London and we can't reach her uh, easily physically, <laughs> physically <laughs> but, we can't take her uh, out yeah, <laughs> but maybe soon she will be our our guest as well but uh what about the grade now nine, 9 12, 12. Grade nine program, grade 12 average. program uh, 99 percent average and scholarship sanita will you answer uh, this? okay with the obtaining that average mm -hmm. that all depends on you <laughs> <laughs> i mean not just com like solely on you but i mean i can't give you a like a mm -hmm. concrete answer um of course you will have the support from our teachers every step of the way from when you enroll to when you finish so they are with you for any uh questions any like help that you need uh with scholarships actually we did have a student go uh, one of our 12th graders mm -hmm. they uh, where did they get in somewhere well in, i know what we had uh, they got in on a several. scholarship Oh, it's scholarship. Yes. Um, Syracuse University. I think I so. think that I it, think they, so. they received. But we university. did have someone, um, one of our students, uh -huh. actually get in on a scholarship. So that student that is, is always possible. That, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's <laughs> possible, and I always use that as an example. <laughs> That's like our <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, our students can apply to a range of colleges and universities worldwide. Uh, scholarships, that's something that it's determined basically by universities or yeah. by other institutions. Uh, but yeah, our students can get a scholarship and Education Worldwide program is also recognized by the NCAA and it's... Um, institution or organization in the u.s that deals with young athletes so if maybe you're playing a sport and you're an athlete and you want to apply to a u.s college uh, upon finishing our program you will get the chance to apply to any college that is within the ncaa network and they also offer some sports scholarships so uh, as a as a graduate you can also apply for these scholarships uh, and to to uh, continue with your next questions mm -hmm. regarding the uni application it's funny that you mentioned alexandra because she's we the one dealing <laughs> she's the <laughs> one dealing with that yeah she's advisor of our students uh enrolled students regarding um, uh, regarding this um, admissions, to university. admissions to university she will help uh, with everything that she can from some consultations with her that you can do even in earlier high school grades but mm -hmm. you mentioned that you're 12th grade uh all the way to the to the grade 12 she will do the best she can to help you and to get the maximum out of uh, your time in our school and with everything that that needs to be done uh but alex if you're watching us i think that you really need to come <laughs> because definitely this podcast needs you and i think it's time that we talk about what what wonderful things you do for our students regarding the university application she's and like our fairy godmother yeah. for university <laughs> admissions so. yeah so every time when somebody asks something about a university we're like oh let me ask alex about it so <laughs> yeah uh i hope that we will have one of the next podcasts where we will explain this in more details uh because that's truly a great uh questions for every student and any any family about the recognition of the school and the uh, the enrollment process to the university and there's a lot of things to say on that topic as well some things are uh, considering us as 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 a school uh, and some things are out of our control but uh, as mentioned uh, our staff is always there to help students in every uh, possible way uh, okay that's it <laughs> and james says okay thank you so much thank you for uh, asking this question and for watching our podcast uh well girls anything else to add 
No, I just want to say thank you for having me today. Mm -hmm. My cheeks hurt mm -hmm. from <laughs> laughing. <laughing. laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I really had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you again. Okay. Thank you. Aniti. Well, <laughs> Aniti. Aniti, sorry, it slipped away. <laughs> we have an inside joke. joke. <laughs> <laughs> where uh, someone accidentally called me Aniti in an email and it's kind it of... It was super cute. It was cute. So now we're so Aniti from now and Mariti and Tamiti. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I should stop eating. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, the summer is coming. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much for staying with us, for la for laughing with us. <laughs> I hope that you laughed as much as we did. Um, yeah, but seriously, if you have any questions about the Prime program, feel free to uh, write to us. If you have uh, already your consultant, don't hesitate to write to them. They will send you the full information. If something wasn't clear, what we talked about here tonight you can always reach out to us via email or phone number your preferred way of everything. contact of course mm -hmm. consultations are available as well <coughs> ask anything you want to know uh, we are there for you the enrollments for the prime program are open because we have to have uh, everything done until uh, end of the August so we want to, this program to start in September and there will be no we still don't have the fixed date because we are still dealing with the enrollments and everything. And as we mentioned, the number of students is limited. So the pre-enrollments are basically open. So you can save your spot by enrolling now. And we can explain that in, in, in a consultation. I think it will be much, much better. Mm -hmm. uh, Tammy, thank you very much for being here, for, for uh, taking the time to come here, even though your day will was full with classes <laughs> and i'm pretty sure that you would much rather be home resting a little bit no i'm happy to be and, here and but i think that the entire school is really proud of this about this program because you truly put your heart in it so and i i'm pretty sure it, it it's going to show and it, the people will see it once the program is i hope <laughs> i'm sure are you sure? I'm sure. 100%. <laughs> okay. Um, Anita, thank you for being my co-host. I don't know what would I Always do without you. Always a pleasure. <laughs> okay, so Shireen and Hiram say uh, thank you so much to all of you. Hiram says thanks. Thank you guys as well. Thank you for watching us every time. Thank you for trusting us with the education of your children. And uh, see you next month. Okay. Bye. <laughs>